I also wanted to go over this too. It's 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 part of recruiting a little bit because Miles Graham's already committed, but he visited this past weekend and he spoke on Austin uh, Armstrong and said um, he loves what he was he was able to bring in and uh, he was brought in and met him and he said um, the the practice feels different from last year's guys. Guys are flying around making plays, making tackles, having fun, etc. So it was cool to get his perspective because he's obviously been going last year and this year. What does he gain by saying that? Is kind of how I look at that, right? Where did, why yeah. pull that out? And I think, because again, he doesn't benefit from the team doing well. He doesn't benefit by saying that. He's already committed. He's already bought in, right? And I think he just, that's just, and we, we, we've been hearing the same thing. It's just good to hear from different perspectives. Getting it from the players, you kind of expect that. Getting it from the coaches, you expect that. Getting it from even the beat writers, you expect that. The recruits, I don't always expect that. I, say, I expect to hear him say like, yeah, it was a great visit. These guys are really cool. Blah, 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 blah. But somebody who's been watching it the whole process, watching this culture build, and again, these guys are becoming more and more, more, and more bought in. The Miles Grams, Chauncey Bowens. Um, Darius Hayes is obviously new to the to the mix, but loved reading and, and seeing that Miles Graham had had some great things to say about Austin as well as the defense just having a different energy. Yeah, and I've interviewed Miles Graham before, man. He's completely 100% locked in. I mean, he's not going anywhere. You know DJ Lagway is not going anywhere. And... This point last year, you didn't have as good of a start as you did this year. I mean, you you have Very much. you know five star quarterback, should be a five star linebacker. Miles Graham, he will be. Uh, he, he should be anyway. Sure. And then Adarius Hayes, Chelsea Bowens. I mean, Chelsea you're Bowens off. a top top ten running back could be a top yeah. could could move. And I was talking today, I got with some guys about the running back room. Is we're talking about obviously Zeke got released today. The running backs mm-hmm. are a dime a dozen anymore, man. And if you look at the recruiting class, from 1 to 10, they're all 5'10", 210 pounds. What's separating those guys right now, honestly, is, is from that extra star or extra point is, is competition, where they're playing, and obviously reps and yards and things like that. But the only one that really stands out to me in this class is Cam Davis. The guy's 6'2", 220. I was like, that's Derrick Henry r- reborn. But everyone else is about 5'10", 5'11", 210 pounds, Chauncey Bowen himself. So I was like, look, the... You're, you're not. It's not much separation. All we're looking for is what sounds cool. It's like, oh, we got another five star. But I'm, I'm beyond excited for for Chauncey Bowens, and we've got a list of guys to go over in here in just a minute. Uh, other potential running backs as well. Yeah, I mean, it's very running back heavy. I would say this class with uh, with talent, and as I said last week, a lot of it's in the state of Texas. And luckily, yeah, we recruited a five star quarterback from the state of Texas. Now, yes, of course, you still got your 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 guys from Florida too. Well, I'm sure you'll get into that here shortly. But I like the way that it's trending right now. If you can hold on to Chauncey Bowens, which he still says he's 100 percent committed, and and um, he's going to take his visits. He's going to want the free food, the red carpet, whatever they give to him on his visits. Sure. Uh, but if you keep him in here, you can get your other running back which will as i said we'll get into there and mm-hmm. then you finally get your two running backs that you wanted in a cycle because i think last cycle you didn't get one you only got Trayon webb and then you got cameron carroll from transfer portal so correct um yeah it's good that you were able to lock in a running back this early and you've got what till december or december or february to uh lock in another running back into this class so uh, it's good like i said really good start for the florida 